Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show. This is a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So this is the show that we put out every week. Usually comes out around noon, and I do apologize for that. I was watching a fairly lengthy drum video from the drum channel on uh, Neil Peart, Chris Bozio, and Dom Perry. That was the other one. Really interesting, really enjoyable episode. Anyways, uh, it's going to come out now. So, anyways, we're talking about the episode that I do every week called This Week, in which I kind of go over what I'm going to be doing on the channel this week, uh, what's coming up on the channel in the future, and uh, how everything is basically going. So, today we're going to do... Um, I usually give the list of the regular shows that are coming on and then the series and what's happening with that as well. So I do apologize also for uh, the hauls, uh, my new new stuff that came out at the end of last week. I completely forgot that it was the end of the month and I needed to do that and I didn't mention it in my this week, last week. So. I do apologize for that. I hope it was still enjoyable nevertheless. So anyways, we're on to this week. So this week's Ben album challenge. Ben has given me the Australian band In Excess and the album Kick. I am familiar with this band. They were fairly big here um, as far as the, there being a bit of a new wave band. So yeah, we did get some exposure to them. I've never been a huge fan of them, but a lot of progressive rock guys do like them quite a bit, so uh, we're going to be doing that this week on Ben's Album Challenge. For the Monday Night Look Back at a Classic Rock album, we are going to be doing this album here. Jimi Hendrix Experience, Are You Experience, a fantastic album. This is the one we'll be covering on that episode. I've never actually owned this album. Uh, I did have it on cassette for a brief period of time. It wasn't a very good cassette. I ended up getting rid of it. I do now have it on CD and have been listening to it. So we'll be doing that this week um, on Look Back at a Classic Rock Album. So on Wednesday night, which is the night we do our favorites, um, I decided to go with... Um, those 10 bands that are good but for some reason never really quite had the commercial success that you've come to ex come to expect with success in music so we'll be talking about 10 bands like that not necessarily in any particular order just 10 bands so the uh so what's new on the channel we, we're going to be starting a new show actually two new shows but one of them will start this week the other one will start the following saturday so they're going to be bi-weekly both both shows one will do one week and then the next week we'll do the other one so i decided because i couldn't really decide what to do with my my live show that i used to have uh where to put it that i said you know what i'll just split it so it'll cover one of those weeks so it'll just instead of be called being called Friday Night Live Experience. It's just going to be called The Live Experience. And the other show, which will air this week, is going to be called The Psychedelic Snack, which is a show where we will talk about psychedelic music in general and in specifics. So um, this week I've chosen to do, uh, coincidentally enough, The Jimi Hendrix Experience. Might as well start at the top all three of these albums I do own. This one still hasn't been listened to, but I am very familiar with the album. Nevertheless, this is Electric Ladyland. Acts as Bold as Love. Sorry, I'm getting a bit of a glare here. And, of course, the debut album, Are You Experienced? And uh, we'll be talking about those three albums and Jimi Hendrix's experimentation with um, psychedelia and becoming a legend during that period of time in the late 60s. I think it was like 67 through to about, uh, probably went a little bit into the 70s, maybe the 72, where psychedelic music was all the rage. And so we'll, uh, that'll be our initial psychedelic snack video show that we'll be doing this Saturday. Um, 
time wise I've been debating this like when what time to do this I think I'm gonna go with a 12 noon show the reason being is that sometimes Fridays are really hectic and I'm really tired and getting up early in the morning to do a show is tough so I tend to get up at my normal time around 7 or 7 30 so I wanted time to prepare it so I figure noon is a good time to do it and we'll try that time slot out this week and then the following week we will do the first episode of the live experience um, which will be basically the same as the Friday night live experience only we'll be doing it on a Saturday every second week so those are the two new shows that are going to start this week and then I was supposed to do a what's new uh, for the um, Brian Jones uh, Brian Jones town massacre I was supposed to do them last Friday but I had an incident required me to go back and forth between two spots over a length of time and I was just too tired so I just decided to put it off so we will be doing that this week in addition to that I'm also going to do Alexandria's um, The Wonders Still Awaiting that's an album that's going to be coming out or has come out probably at this point and Civic which will be taken by Force which is another album that has come out recently as well uh, and then of course we have our series which has started the first episode was this morning no wasn't first episode was yesterday morning um, we started off with Ronnie James Dio and Richie Blackmore two great dynamic duos and we followed that up this morning with Rod Stewart and and Ron Wood we have another six more episodes for this week I won't give away the uh, who's going to be in what I may change a bit of them around too so I want to get an order in somebody's mind and then change it but uh, we have some good ones this week I think it'll be fun most of these I think are pretty pretty straightforward and fun to do and uh, we'll be doing them as well so uh, in addition to all that um, I've also been at work um, beginning to set up my mind and how I want to structure my ACDC 50th anniversary rock legends videos which will be the before them I'm pretty sure there's going to be four of them uh, and I think I've discussed this a little bit um, there'll be one in the really early era when they weren't on a label and then um, had a first couple of Australian albums then the second label where they began to have some international success uh, the second one which will probably go up to back in black and then you'll have the back in black era from the, in the 1980s and then the closing out era from the 90s onward and that's probably how I'm going to structure it I may change my mind um, if somebody points out something that I just didn't think of um, then I may change my mind but I have quite a bit of videos to watch and some research to do to make sure I get some of the stuff exact and more not so much exact but more accurate we don't want to portray ACDC in a light that they aren't so and I've had people talking to me about doing KISS as well I still am not on board with that one I will think about it some more but I still have time to do it definitely I won't do anything of that nature in June June I will be away for a a week or so so that kind of hampers the whole project probably in July more than likely in July I will do something and then we'll see how it goes forward um, there'll be no more series videos until the fall in September um, Ben has discussed with me about doing a debut album series uh, Battle of the Bands that probably will happen I don't know if it'll happen in September or October but probably by either one of those two months it will happen and so that's pretty much it that I can think of I don't think I forgot anything this week you know I you know, got a little bit of the olds going on there actually I don't I don't think it's my memory at all I don't think it's uh, anything other than just being sometimes too tired and distracted by other stuff going on so um, I do apologize if it appears that I'm losing my mind I think I'm, I'm safe at this point in time so anyways I hope you will uh, 
come aboard to see some of these videos this week it would be it's nice uh, the launching of the psychedelic snack it's been something I've been wanting to do now for a while I do have a fair bit of psychedelic music now so I feel like um, I'm, I'm good to go I've got some stuff coming from laser's edge this week and probably a couple of different orders I decided to go that week that route this week instead of going to my uh, my favorite watering hole for albums mainly because there's some stuff I can't get at that place that it's it's imported or it's stuff that's hard to find so I did to go to laser's edge it's a little more pricey going that route not because he charges too much because he doesn't he's, he's really fair about everything it's not even the delivery charge, it's just the exchange rate crossing the border and the murder, right? But anyway, sometimes you got to make that in order to get the stuff that you really want. So I've got about 20 albums, or I think it's 19, that are coming over two orders. And I'm looking forward to, especially the second order, where I managed to get all four of the Wooden Nickel Sticks albums. And so I'm really looking forward to, long wanted to own these albums, long wanted to have them. Um, some great music on them maybe not the best quality wooden nickel wasn't the best thing they probably set sticks back a little bit but um, still they, they produce some great stuff on those albums and uh, I look forward to getting a chance to actually go through them and listen to them anyways I hope uh, I hope you will have a good week. If you like this video, please like, make your own comments below, and subscribe. It's much appreciated. And uh, the week is underway, so have a good one. Take care.